Hi there, welcome back to the Grape Explorer. Today we're going to be looking at what is currently the UK's most popular supermarket wine. That's 19 Crimes. And delving into a little bit about what makes this wine particularly popular and why I consider this to be a magic bottle. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm the Grape Explorer. Here I do wine education, product reviews and lots of wine tastings. So let's jump straight into this one. Now the reason I say this is one of the UK's most popular supermarket wines at the moment is I was recently reading a blog page on the Wine Lists website. The Wine List is a, a subscription and education based wine company here in the UK and they surveyed four and a half thousand people in the UK to find out what was our most popular supermarket wine. I've put that list of wines up on the screen for you now. I'm sure there's a few of the names there that you can recognise. Places like uh, Barefoot Wines, uh, Yellow Tail, for example, Trevento, their Malbec is incredibly popular here in the UK. But it was an Australian company that came out on top, 19 Crimes. And I've got their 2019 red wine here. Now the bottle itself doesn't actually label a varietal, but having tasted this wine, I'm, I'm pretty convinced it's actually Shiraz. Um, and it is a real crowd pleaser. I can see why it's a popular wine. But 19 Crimes goes a little bit further than just the wine in the bottle. They've kind of made it a bit more of an experience, and this is why I refer to it as being a bit of a magic bottle. The marketing for these wines is built upon the people who moved to Australia actually as convicted criminals from the UK to Australia. There were 19 different crimes for which you could be convicted that would mean deportation to Australia. Now I have listed some of those crimes on the screen in front of you now because some of them did make me giggle uh, somewhat. Um, some of them sort of make sense. I can understand that stealing, buying and receiving stolen goods, uh, were clearly, you know, punishable crimes. Um, but as I moved down the list, there were a couple of others that sort of I found quite unusual. There was assaulting, cutting or burning clothes. There was watermen carrying too many passengers on the Thames. But the one that really caught my attention was number five, and that was impersonating an Egyptian. Um, I don't know why that was a crime. I think I'm going to have to go away and take a bit of a deeper look into that and try and understand why. So, and it was because of these 19 crimes that people would have been deported to Australia. And so what the bottle is saying is, this is a liquid ode to the past. 19 crimes is inspired by those who beginning in 1788 were transported to Australia for a life of hard labour. Many did not survive the journey and for the sea beaten people who made it ashore, a new world awaited. And this wine honours the history they wrote and the culture they built. And this is where the really magic bit comes in, because if you download an app, the 19 Crimes Living Wine Labels app, you actually get a story told to you by the label uh, about their journey for, to Australia, what they were convicted of and what happened when they arrived in Australia. So like I say, it is quite a magic bottle. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how that works. Um, I downloaded the app to my phone earlier. Now this is an augmented reality. So when I scan the, the app over the phone, it's going to pick up that I'm scanning a label and then it's going to bring that story to life. So let's give that one a go. Hello, I'm a wine label. So, sorry, couldn't resist. Let's try again. Convicted of crime 18. Spared the hangman's noose. Banished to Australia. I found true love in the most unlikely of places. I was banished to Australia for crimes against the crown. They believed my story was over, but it was merely the beginning. The spirit of a rogue sustains when the bars of man impede. For no cage can hold that which is boundless. No man stop that which is fated to be. And so what 19 Crimes has done is to actually create something very special from a marketing point of view that obviously is going to help the sales. There's a little bit more intrigue to this bottle than perhaps your average average label bottle that you see on the shelves. And then coupled with that, there is the wine itself. So as I say, this is, this is a Shiraz. Um, it's certainly what I get, even though it's not labeled as such. But it's because of the spice and the bold fruits on the nose that are coming through that are making me believe this to be Shiraz. And the wine itself has some of that spice on the palate as well. You get that sort of toasty vanillaness about it. 
but the wine itself is a real crowd pleaser. It's got quite soft tannins, it's got nice acidity, it's got some nice weight to it. And I can see why, as a supermarket wine, this one is so popular. So hats off to 19 Crimes. Uh, I think they've done a really good job here of combining good wine with, with good marketing that creates, like I say, it creates that little bit more of interest into the wine itself. It's going at that little bit further than the average bottle on the shelf. And th these days, you know, you need to have that little edge, perhaps, to get yourself noticed. You know, this is something that they promote through social media, through their website. You know, it's more than just the wine. It's, it's actually creating a story around the brand, the 19 Crimes brand. And if any of you have seen any other bottles on the shelves, you may know that uh, Snoop Dogg, the artist Snoop Dogg, has now also given his face over to one of the labels for 19 Crimes. So if you have your phone and you scan a Snoop Dogg bottle, I'm sure he'll tell you a story as well. But that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at 19 Crimes. I'm the Grape Explorer. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.